is our old pal, the bimetallic strip. That's right, this is a bimetallic strip. What's a bimetallic strip, you ask? Bimetallic strips are in all sorts of places. A bimetallic strip will bend as its temperature changes. If the hole lines up with where the bimetallic strip is, the toaster will trip very prematurely. That looks an awful lot like a bimetallic strip. Because it will break the entire circuit once the bimetallic strip has warmed up, reheats the bimetallic strip, and it goes out again. These contain a bimetallic strip that reacts to the heat from the filament. The darkness control simply moves a little peg that presses on the bimetallic strip. And what releases it, of course, is the action of the bimetallic strip. This little helper pushes on the bimetallic strip inside the toaster. The force of the bread falling on the trip lever flexes the bimetallic strip via this linkage. When it's toasting, the bimetallic strip isn't warmed significantly by the heating elements. The bimetallic strip lives right between these two heating coils. In fact, the bimetallic strip did do all the sensing work. That spring is a really long bimetallic strip formed into a coil. This toaster shows us that a simple bimetallic strip manages to do an objectively better job, and that allows for the thermostat's bimetallic strip to sit between them. This one is actually a bimetallic strip T. We can see what appears to be two bimetallic strips. The bimetallic strip is formed into a coil, but a classic and simple application of the bimetallic strip or heat their bimetallic strips. This set screw puts a bit of pressure on the bimetallic strip. This dead simple arrangement of bimetallic strip and hole in pan that bimetallic strips get all bendy when they heat up. As that happens, the bimetallic strip bends the bar. After a certain amount of time, the bimetallic strip bends sufficiently to break the circuit. 